Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV back with you again. And this time I am reviewing a solar charge controller from a company called Bouge RV. Now last year I reviewed their solar panels, their 170 watt solar panels, and also a little car fridge freezer that they they put out. And both those items are still working. I can link back to those reviews. Anyway, they've been kind of bugging me to review some other items on their website, and I didn't really see anything that interested me other than this solar charge controller, mainly because it was pretty inexpensively priced. I think it goes for about $119, and they even offered a discount if I reviewed it for my viewers, so it gets it down to $105. So I figured someone that's trying to put together a pretty inexpensive system may be interested in how it performs. Being that it's a 40 amp controller, that's not a, too bad of a price. Kind of looking at the model number here, I don't think they actually make it. They're probably sourcing it and reselling it because I see it all over the web under different names and stuff like that. But it uh, looks like a pretty solid little controller. Heat sink on the back. And on here we also have temperature compensation. There's a calm link you can see right there. And also it included this display that'll plug into the comm link. But I also think you can probably use a Bluetooth dongle in that. By the looks of it, looks like maybe you can use 8 gauge wiring on those. I have some 4 gauge, I'm going to have to cut them down to get them in there. But I'm going to put this in place of my existing Bogart controller and we'll see how it performs. According to the specs, if you use a 12 volt system, it maxes out at 550 watts. If you wire the panels in a 24 volt array, you can do um, 100 and what's it say here? 140 watts? 520 or 140 watts. Anyway, I'm just going to wire it up to my existing system because I was reading the manual. If you put too much solar power into it, it doesn't matter, it just won't pass it all through. So the charging, max charging um, amperage on this is going to be 40 amps. One more thing, it does have temperature compensation plug here, so you could put a sensor in it. It didn't include any sensor, and I, I don't really care because I'm running it on my lithium batteries. And that was an important thing for whether I wanted to try this out or not, is whether it would... Uh, handle lithium and it does say lithium in here. Also supposedly you can customize any type of charging profile you want so we'll get into that once I hook it up and I can see what's going on on this display screen. So I'm going to dive into the the bowels of the Cougar here and replace my existing controller with this one. Don't know if we'll get too much sun to test today. It's kind of overcast day but there is some sun going on so We'll see how it performs today, and then in a few days it's supposed to uh, get really sunny, so we'll have a good test then. So that gets flush mounted against a wall or something like that, and of course they want some room around it for uh, cooling. You can see there's some aluminum fins there, so the air is going to come in bet behind it and rise up to cooling. So I got quite a bit of stuff here. I think for the time being we're not doing any major boondocking in the next while. So I believe what I'm going to do is pull out pull out my charge controller and then the, the other, the Bogart solar controller and kind of give myself an area here so I can install this and test it properly. Okay, got most of that wiring spaghetti out of the way and put some new spaghetti in its place. So I mounted this up here and the wires coming in over here are coming from my rooftop solar panels. There's positive, negative, positive, negative. And then these are going out to my battery, negative, positive. Uh, positive wires going through this breaker that was in the existing system. Now it's a 40 amp breaker so it'll be interesting. I may, uh, may end up blowing that if I get near 40 amps for too long. Usually they have a little bit of overhead on them. And then the negative I just have coming down to the frame. That was just to save wire and stuff. It actually goes through the frame and then it pops back up onto a bus bar and then goes through my shunt. And I got my three lithium batteries in here, three Lion Energy 105 amp hour batteries. 
and they're right around 50% charged, so they should they should charge with a decent current. I'm gonna have to set it up. I believe for lithium I can set this in the lithium mode is 14.4 volts of charging, so that should work out good. So maybe let's uh, connect the batteries and see what happens. It's what you want to do first, connect the batteries and then the solar. So let's flip this switch on. And we got lights. Good, good. And we have a readout here on our display. Probably the current battery voltage right there. So I'll go up and uh, turn my solar panels on. They're actually off right now. There's a breaker up in my bathroom near my uh, battery monitor. Oh, you can see it's uh, right now there's a moon there, so I guess it thinks it's nighttime and the solar panels are off. Okay, panels turned on. You can see them flashing here. And this battery, this is a battery indicator, and blue is for lithium. I'll show you how to change that in future here. So what do we got here? 13.8 is our voltage charging on the battery. I'll go select solar panel voltage 18.5 and it's showing 39, it's a little over 39 amps. Sun kind of came out. Not perfectly blue sky but fairly good sun. I don't know, it thinks the battery's at 100% to read into that. And that's the wattage, 524 watts Celsius. I don't have that set up, so it probably just does whatever it does. So that's pretty cool. Let's check the current here just to make sure. And you can actually see my clamp on showing 42 there. So, so far it's working, it's working. Doing a pretty good job. Now what I have on the roof right now, everything's wired in parallel. They're all what they call 12 volt panels. That's kind of just their name. They're meant for 12 volt systems. Um, but actually they, they run around 18 to 21 volts so that makes sense so I have over 900 watts out th up there and it seems to be handling it no problem I'm just gonna let it run and we'll see how hot this thing gets in the meantime maybe I'll go in and we'll have a look in the manual on the computer and I can kind of show you some of the settings So got the cloud came back over down to 25 amps. Yeah, it's still a little hazy out. Let's clearing up. Just double check that with my trimetric. You can see 38.7 amps. So here's the unit on the Bouge RV website. You can see right now it's on sale $119.99. Uh, when they sent it to me, they also said they'd offer 12% uh, off for Love You RV viewers. I think use Love You RV 12. I'll post the code. Anyway, uh, it looks like they also have free standard shipping on that. 30 days return and probably a one-year warranty. I'm not exactly sure on the warranty. And... I looked around the web for this because I didn't see any markings on it at all, but I kind of looked at the model number and found this MC, uh, model number MC2440N10 in this uh, manual that I found online. And looking around, it always seems to pop up with this SRNE brand name. You can see it on AliExpress here. So I imagine they're just uh, buying it and reselling it on their website. Uh, here's the parameters in the manual itself. You can see it's system voltage. You can use 12 volt battery system or 24 volt battery system. Battery voltage 9 volt to 32. Uh, down here the 40 amp controller it says at 12 volt max um, solar input is 550 watts and 24 volt max is 1100 watts. 
And we'll just go to the display here. Also found the user manual for this. It wasn't included in there, so I kind of hunted around. I'll leave links in the description to these manuals if you want to check them out. But when you go through here, it uh, shows you how to go through and look at all the different uh, outputs. But the, the interesting one to me was that you could set it to different batteries. So you had flooded lead acid gel, um, sol uh, sealed lead acid, or lithium, or you could select use, which is kind of a user-defined. Uh, in the lithium, it, the, the output's 14 Point four volts, but you could change that if you wanted to the, go into the use settings, and you can also set it to equalize, which is interesting. So, pretty uh, pretty basic uh, uh, controller, but uh, does pretty well all you would want to do for a really simple uh, setup. You know, 550 watts in this controller, and you'd probably be uh, good to go. Maybe put 600 watts of panels up there, and you'd have a nice little system. Well, it got really overcast again, but still bringing in 23 amps. Uh, didn't get very hot at all, not, not too hot to, to touch, just warmish on that heat sink. I think it says 40 Celsius right now. It has a, a temperature setting in there that reports back. But I think what I might do is maybe get a, a metal plate for that, mount that against my wood here, and then put this on the metal just to give it a little more heat sink in the back. Because I think I'm going to keep this and uh, install it for my rooftop system. Use this charger for the roof panels and then I'll take my Bogart and repurpose it for my ground panel systems. If you follow me you know I usually have a, a ground panel when I go boondocking. Um, now I've got quite a few of those uh, foldable panels like the Jackery and I got a couple other like a 200 watt panel. So I can actually put probably about 500 watts out on the ground and then maybe use this so if I'm boondocking I would get 40 amps coming in on that but then I could also use this 30 amp controller and have 30 coming in off the ground panels or if I get uh, like up here in the woods uh, get somewhere under some trees I can put my panels out in the sunshine so that'd be kind of a project for this spring is to kind of rewire this bay and integrate these this controller in with the the Bogart so stay tuned for that I'll come back and report how this thing is stood up we'll leave it in there all summer long and let you know if it dies or anything like that but hopefully it'll work out because it's not a bad price and it kind of does what most people want till next time Ray from loveyourv.com thanks for watching cheers folks